G'day YouTube, Four Nines Fine Silver here. G'day YouTube, Four Nines Fine Silver here. Today I'm just going to go around the house and try and find some knickknacks to try and make a charm with. And I was sitting in the back of my wife's car the other day with the kids and found this little heart. Looked like it come off one of their bracelets or something. I want to turn it into a, uh, a silver charm. So what I found was this little eyelet here. So I've got this little eyelet. I'm going to put it into the top there. So it sits there like that. Now it's lost the point off the end of it because the string was going right through there. So what I've found is this nail fits fairly good. And so what I thought I'd do is I'd make it out of pewter. Because I always like to make my moulds out of pewter because I can adjust them any way I want once they've been made. And I find that there's no point in using your precious metals to do that because it's just a, a waste and it gets fr quite frustrating when it doesn't work but if you do it with pewter you can adjust it you can sand it you can you can change it to make it suit so what i'll do is i'll prepare my uh my mold somewhere here it is I think I'd be a bit more prepared anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it long ways this time so I've got the piece it's a bit floppy in there I'll see if I can get it in neatly and then I'm gonna get this nail and stick it into the end up here and then when I cut off the spew the sprue I can adjust the the point so there it is just made out of a few little bits and pieces all right so we'll make sure we're covered in corn flour This just adds on to my video that I made yesterday. If you didn't see that, then go back through my videos and have a look. But it's just reminding everybody that you can make molds, you can make silver bits and pieces out of anything. And I think that bead's going to come up really well. Okay. There it is in there. We've got our sprue going up. So what I'll do is I'll take this nail and just make sure that that line goes through. So when the metal goes down that funnel, it'll make it to the piece. I'll kick all this out here. We don't need it. And what I'll do is I'll mark a little line going across from there to there. So it looks like a funnel. I'll get my knife out and I'll just cut that down. Just take all that out. Turn it into a funnel. Put our nail back in there just to be sure. It's going to run, looks great. And now I'll do the same to there. Now it's about that distance. So I'll just cut that out so. As, as close as, to, 
as you can to the other. Doesn't need to be perfect, but pretty close is good. Turn that into a funnel. Take out our piece. Make sure our nail hole goes right through there as well, which it does. Hopefully you can all see that. Take out my bits and pieces so they don't get lost. And then put these back together. And that looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see down that hole, but it all lines up pretty well. Now, because I don't have ideal equipment, it doesn't hold together very well anymore. I've burnt it a few too many times. I'll have to put a, um, a bracket on there. Not a bracket, a clamp. Tighten that up. Now, I'll turn it on its side so you can see the pore. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pewter this time. And I only need to use the little torch. doesn't take too much anyway we'll just wait for that to, uh, to harden pewter takes a little bit longer than silver to, to harden it keeps its heat in it pretty well and that looks like it's coming together now so I'll just take this all off like it's worked out perfectly it's still hot so let's just scrape it off so you can just take a look and see if that little eyelet worked in there what I'll do is I'll give it a wash off and I'll, uh, I'll be back in a second but I'll, it's still covered in a bit of sand so I'll turn you around just a little bit there you go too bad. It's got its little eyelet, exactly what I was looking for. Alright, I'll just cut off the sprue. I'll give it a little bit of a rub over with the, uh, the Dremel, just to take off those tiny little edge pieces. And uh, I'll put the video back on. I might even straighten it up. And there it is, our little piece pretty pretty sweet really all right so now it's time to pour it in silver so we do a very similar process but we'll use this as our our master copy now okay I'll still use the nail of course Ok, 
Okay, we'll get our top, top on. Pack it in there nice and tight. Perfect. Okay, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We'll just cut out a funnel. You can take all that out. How's that? Make sure you've got a nice flow. Same thing to this side. Drop out our piece. Perfect. Make sure your flow is there too. Hate to cause a bit of a problem. Let's not worry about that. All right, looking good. Back together, up onto its end. Again, looking pretty similar. Clamp on. This time. This time we need some silver. I broke my crucible the other day, so I've got this little tiny one. But no problem, it'll work. I can get it to sit straight. On with the gas. It works really well. I like the little tiny one. It knocked that uh, three quarters of an ounce of silver down in no time. All right, let's see what we've got. So I could work beautifully. All right, guys, I'll just give it a quick dip. If I can see too. What do you reckon? Got a little eye. Looking pretty good. Let me just clip off that uh, sprue. I'll knock off any bits of. There's hardly anything on it. Actually, it looks great. Maybe a tiny little mark there. All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, there it is. Better not face reveal. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Not bad from a little plastic bead. It ended up weighing 11 grams of pure silver, so how good is that? Alright guys, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.
So that's it from me. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.